refers to a more than 30-year-old mystery in a local woman's quest to solve it. Back in 1984, Boris Weisfeiler set out on a hiking tour of southern Chile. Two weeks later, he vanished. When his backpack was found on a riverbank, investigators determined he drowned. But in June of 2000, the U.S. government released hundreds of documents indicating the Chilean military may have been involved in Weisfeiler's disappearance. Charges were brought in 2012 against seven people, all police and military. But just last month, the judge closed the case, clearing everyone involved of all charges and ended all efforts there to figure out what really happened more than three decades ago. Joining me now is Boris' sister, Olga Weisfeiler, who has never stopped searching. Olga, it's very good to meet you. Yes. You last saw your brother in 1984, I think, in Budapest. Yes. Uh, he then disappeared. You moved to the United States because you felt that was the only place from which you could continue this effort, yes? Yes, uh, actually... I, I tried to do something from Russia, it was uh, pointless. And then I recognized that the only way to find something uh, and maybe rescue my brother is being in the United States. You know, we like to think in this country that when somebody from here disappears in another country, particularly under suspicious circumstances, that all of the power of the government will be called upon to do this. But with some exceptions, the United States government has not been a very strong help to you, have they? Uh, actually, I was uh, disappointed. I was thinking that, yes, uh, U.S. governments should find uh, their own citizen, but... Barney Frank helped you for a short period. Uh, Secretary uh, Curry helped you for a short period, but yes. not much more. But it is already after 2000, after I reopened the case, even before documents were declassified. In January 2000, I uh, opened the case in Chile. How many times have you been to Chile in search of what 16. happened? 16. 16 times in from 30 2000. years. From 2000. No, from 2000. Since 2000. So virtually every single every year. Every single year. You've been as I mentioned, documents were declassified in 2000, suggesting a German group that had been used by Pinochet, the dictator there, to torture people, may have had some involvement. Is that what you think happened to your brother? What do you think happened to your brother? Uh, I don't know which exactly uh, the uh, co co Colonia Dignidad was That's the name of, yes. Yes, this is a German uh, settlement. Uh, or some other Chilean prison, prison. but uh, it is absolutely certain fact that he was arrested illegally, and because he had all the documents uh, supposed to any tourist must have, uh -huh. he had this, and uh, he was arrested. What happened afterwards, nobody knows. Uh, Do you think he might be alive? Do you, is there a part of you that thinks he for, might be alive? For 20 years, I was thinking that, yes, he is alive. But no more? But after I visited this Colonia Dignidad in 2004, I recognized that it's no more. So the judge closed this case uh, just last month. Why do you, why do you continue to fight, what is it in you that... I need answers. I need answers uh, when, where, why he lost his life. Why do you need those answers? This has totally taken over your life from what I read about you in the New York Times. Yes. This is yes, everything, it is. all consuming. It is. So why do you need those answers, especially if you believe your brother is gone? Because it's most my, my brother and because it's human being and very talented mathematician and... Uh, just, I cannot let it go, just uh, disappeared in uh, thin air. He was a great ma mathematician. He taught, was at Penn State, celebrated mathematician yeah. when he went high. What, what do you do next? Uh, you said the United States government has not been very helpful. The um, Chilean authorities have closed the case. What do you do now? Now, U.S. government, uh, it's very helpful. Actually, uh, uh, U.S. Uh, embassy in Chile issued a press statement that uh, their opinion on uh, this case and uh, issued um, the dissatisfaction with uh, such uh, 
So you have this some season. hope now that there may be some closure at some point here? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. First of all, it is uh, never... Uh, I was fighting for... Uh, this case will be recognized as a human rights case. Uh -huh. And uh, it was never officially recognized because, because of many different uh, uh -huh. reasons. But it's always treated as de facto human rights case. I understand that. And judge just rejected all of this. And uh, I think this judge was uh, not only I think, but many things the same. It is worst judge for human rights cases. You are the sister that everybody wishes they had. It was good to meet you, Olga Weisfeld. I wish you luck. You. And we'll continue uh, to talk. We you. will stay on this with you, I promise you. Okay, thank you.